Hello everybody, Calvin Nation here today with another video. And in today's video we're going to be doing another battle song tutorial on another combo. I'm not sure what combo we're at now. I think it might be seven. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll obviously title the video accordingly. But um, today's combo is going to be based off a move that Cutlery Lover did. Basically this move, it was really unique, really funny. Uh, it, I think it was for a competition at the, the flipping arena for who could create the best move that was five seconds or less um, and I'm not sure because I haven't seen the video for a long time I looked it up today could not find it don't know what the name of the video is or the name of the move um, but I remember seeing it uh, a year back or so and I thought it was really funny so just randomly I thought about it and decided to make my own little variation on the move so uh, if I find that video I'll put the link down there uh, if not you know um, Hopefully you enjoy this one. So here is the move. Okay everybody, so there's the move. And like you saw, there was a lot of this going on in the beginning. A lot of twirling. If that's a little bit too complicated for you, feel free to do it whatever way you want. You can even just do a, a standard double rollout to get into this position. You can do whatever you want as long as you get into this position here, getting ready for the throw. So if that is a little bit complicated, just make up your own thing for the beginning. But I will be showing you exactly how I did the first part, or hopefully exactly what I did. When I slow these things down, a lot of times I miss a little step. But I am going to be going through this quickly because that's not really the main part of the move. But uh, what I did was a double rollout, back up, ricochet off the thumb, chaplain, back up, ricochet off the thumb again, I think, and then uh, a chaplain, and then I go into a full twirl, back down, and then I do the throw. So once again, uh, I believe it's double rollout, ricochet off the thumb, chaplain, ricochet off the thumb again, chaplain, full twirl and then throw up and then catch, bow, and then back up. So for that part, again, land in this position. Again, you beginner guys can do whatever you want to land here. You're just gonna be throwing it exactly like how you would a scissor. Um, so you're gonna throw it up and then you're just gonna clap your hands on the balisong and you'll land, I bet you'll find that you'll land in the same position that I always do. And I'll see if I can do it here. And I landed in this position this is how I always land or I seem to to land the most in and that is I'm um, clapped down on the bite handle safe handle is going to be down edge is going to be up and the point is going to be away from me now from here um, what I try to do is when I go down I want to as I go down I want to do that and then as I come back up I want to do that and it's actually really quite hard the first couple times you do it. Um, often when you catch it like this, uh, your instincts are when you're going down and you're flinging this back up, you're going to want to move your body back. So a lot of times when I tried to actually go down, I would just go like this. And, you know, it's the complete opposite direction. But, um, yeah, that's just how I do it. If you thought that kind of looked a little bit weird, it's because I haven't really perfected it quite yet. Um... It would be a little bit nicer, I guess, if you just completely catch it in the closed position, go down and then open it, but um, kind of keep it the traditional way Jeff did it when you open it or close it and open it. So um, that's just how I do it. Kind of a cool little unique move. That's my little variation on it. Once again, I'll just show you a quick rundown of how I do it again. So double roll out, ricochet off the thumb, chaplain. Ricochet off the thumb again, chaplain, full twirl, and then throw up. And I didn't quite uh, catch it the way I usually do. I'm going to catch it here as we're going down. Um, close the bow song as we're coming back up. Open the bow song. And uh, hopefully you catch it in a nice horizontal position where you can't see the handles and the blade is facing straight out of your um, pointer finger here. Um, Sometimes you'll catch it and you kind of land in this position. doesn't look near as cool, but uh, definitely a cool move. Definitely a very unique move. So thanks for watching, guys. Here again is the move.
Heck yeah! 